Welcome to the Sex and the City reboot. I'm Vaughn, I am a video producer for the New York Times. Cooking for one can be misconstrued by a lot of people as being very boring. With me, <laughs> let me tell you, it's anything but. I am throwing myself a barbecue, which might sound like the saddest thing in the entire world. Um, <laughs> some might say it's an art form. I say it's a survival skill. Cooking for one should always be a party. Alexa, play Carly Rae Jepsen's Party for One. So welcome to my kitchen. This is uh, gonna be a new kind of journey that we're embarking on where I show you how I cook, which is for one. I think that cooking for one should be fun. It should be exciting. It should be fresh and new and you shouldn't be afraid to try different things. I never wanna waste food, repurpose leftovers in any way that I can. And I always wanna keep it funky fresh, you know? I don't think that the only time to enjoy a hamburger, a hot dog, and sides is on like a sunny Saturday. My goal is to be at the stove as little as possible because let's be honest, you come to a barbecue for the sides. I also am going to test out a new recipe that I think would be perfect for a summer barbecue. <laughs> but I feel like a barbecue has to have barbecue. Anyway, maybe this is a cookout. <laughs> I love that I just like have a watermelon. Kathleen, we'll come back for you. No cookout barbecue, you decide. No barbecue is complete without a dessert. Especially a dessert that you can eat handheld. And a dessert that tastes like a cocktail, come on. So when I was thinking about this recipe, I was like, what's the best part of a margarita? It's obviously the salt on the rim, right? So you can also do this in a food processor. Another big thing about me cooking for one is that I want to minimize the amount of dishes that I have to do, like, <sighs> <laughs> really wishing I broke out the food processor right about now. Oh me. Ooh, you getting that? I got it. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Took one for the team there. Anything for the shot. Oh. You just want to get the juices going a little bit. So get the juices going, roll your limes out, and then you'll find that it's a much juicier end product. <laughs> Literally, there's like no juice in this lime. <laughs> Great. I'll add the zest of one lime. We're so close. We're almost there. Never let go, Jack. Oh. Ooh. We have fun around here, yeah? Don't mind me. It smells delicious. I'm just gonna use the yolks, so I'm going to save the whites for another application. It smells like a bar, honestly. <laughs> Like I'm at a dive bar, then I love it. So you really wanna make sure that this kind of gets nice and golden brown before you add the curd. Oh, mama. Oh, lovely. Okay, ooh. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. I really am all alone. <laughs> Even Siri won't come over. It's set around the edges, it's a little jiggly in the center. <laughs> and that means we can turn off the oven. It's just really hot in here. I don't, have I mentioned that? <laughs> the thing that no Vreeland family barbecue is complete without is Nanny's macaroni salad. I've got some leftover macaroni from a previous venture. Sus. Hey, honey. Hi. Green pepper and if I have it. Oh, I've got a jalapeno. I can do that. You know, if you use mayonnaise, I like to thin it out with a little milk. I don't that know way if I have it doesn't taste so mayonnaise -y, You know? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Maybe I'll thin it out with like a little lemon juice or something. Bye. Love you. Bye. I love you too. Bye. 
wholesome. For this amount of macaroni, I think I'm only gonna use like a quarter of that tomato. I leave the seeds in because I hate myself. I'm the big ass of our Christmas party. He's over here in heaven. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> my family is a Duke's mayonnaise family though. Season her up. I'm gonna add an herb. This is my magical bag of herbs. I just washed them really well, wrapped them in a wet paper towel, and then I keep it sealed airtight in my, I keep it in my refrigerator. Herbs like that stay fresh for like sometimes weeks on end. Any no recipe recipe for me, I always add some sort of freshness with herbs or lemon. It's just gonna make the dish taste like, oof, even that much better. And the good thing about this is, is even if I don't eat all of it, leftovers, baby. Cooking for one, especially pint containers and quarter sheet trays. Yeah, I mean, you cannot live without them. That's that on that, love. I don't really need much more mayonnaise in my life. You know, I'm, I'm good with one mayonnaise-based thing in a meal. Grab some tahini. And it's like sweetened condensed milk texture, actually. And when you add water to tahini, it's actually gonna separate a little bit, and you're gonna be like, oh no, what did I just do? And then you keep stirring, and it fluffs up. And it's kind of an amazing transformation. So it's actually the consistency of like aioli now, or mayonnaise. Magic, right? Dare I say zesty? What else am I gonna add? See, this is the fun part. This is like, ooh, what is he gonna do next? Ooh, I could add a little scallion. That would be good. A trip to Flavor Town. I'm like Guy Fieri's gay nephew. It needs a little bit more salt. The fish sauce adds some nice saltiness. Ooh! Oh, mama. I think I'm gonna make some smacked cucumbers, which is a total play from one of my favorite places to get food, Shein Famous Foods. Slice these cucumbers along the bias because that's gonna expose more of the flesh. Maybe I just wanna smack more things. <laughs> there are really two very important parts of this recipe, which is chili crisp, sometimes make my own. This is a store-bought version, which is very good. And black vinegar, which I actually just ran out of it because I make this recipe a lot. It is a very important part of this recipe, so please get it if you make it. And it's just me. Again, if I were making this for guests, I would want to make it the way that it's supposed to be made. So I'm gonna season it. I feel like there's maybe a, a grated garlic in here of some sort too. Say, like They're all gonna come falling, but oh God, oh God, no, oh. <laughs> I like it spicy, so I'm gonna add a good amount there. Ugh, lovely. I seriously couldn't love these cucumbers more. These do it for me. Oh, ooh, wow. <laughs> it's Kathleen's time. I just saw this thing on TikTok of Lizzo eating a watermelon with mustard oh, on it. That. Should I try it? I don't have the like classic squirty mustard. Ew. All right, I'm just gonna. We're gonna. Oh yeah. Hmm. It tastes like mustard on a watermelon. I mean, oh. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it, I wouldn't ask for it again. I wouldn't do it again. Yeah. Okay. When I cut a watermelon, I. Score it like that, like you're about to like cut it into wedges. And then I cut kind of down into the center from here. And then I'll do it on this side too and it kind of creates like a little crisscross effect. And then everything should come out in cubes in theory. I'm gonna eat the rest of this watermelon al fresco. I don't think that's the right use of that word. I love watermelon a la carte. Watermelon a la mode. 
Uh, yum. Any kind of like firm yet mild cheese would be really good in this. Oof. It's time. Time to turn the stove on. It's time to cook myself a hamburger. If I were like stranded on a desert island, I would go for a hot dog. Is that a hot take? But mm, maybe not. If it's a good burger though, I choose the burger. Welcome to Good Burger, home to Good Burger. <laughs> I'm making a smash burger because it is a superior burger. I'm gonna make a quarter pound burger. The rest of this beef, I'll like try to use it in the next day or two. If not, I'll freeze it and it'll freeze nicely for like a pasta sauce or something that I'll make later. Some salt, lots of pepper. I'm going to, hot dog goes on. Oh, yes. I'm gonna season this side a little bit. Yum. Toast my bun because, what am I, a monster? I'm gonna make a little special sauce and then we're ready to eat, which is really exciting. Some sad potato. did anything. Live it, love it. Honestly, cute. Let's just say that we stay. When I go to a barbecue, this is exactly what I want my plate to look like. It makes me think of summertime growing up. It makes me think of my childhood. Mm. Slaw, kick in. All right, who am I kidding? I gotta go in for the burger. I need to excuse myself. I don't know what I like better, the hot dog or the hamburger. Oh, there we are, yay. That's good, y'all. That tastes like a margarita, I'm not gonna lie. With some salt on the rim. That's like the best thing about cooking for one is that you can experiment, you can have a fun time in the kitchen and you don't have to be constrained. You can have a lot of fun. Like this was a lot of fun. Here's the nights we will never forget, but maybe not remember. What's the quote? Eight pounds, seven ounces, 21 inches long. This is how I look at her.